And I have learned a lesson in God, and this should help you as a Christmas gift. Whenever you achieve what others would call a success, God has a way of taking away the pleasure of your current position and status so as to provoke you to desire more. That's why you achieve something and within a short time you realize it's not as fulfilling as you thought. There is always something better. And I want to pray for you that God will take away the pleasure of your current status so as to give you the hunger for the next level. Yes. So while potential is God given, God build images within those dreams within you can give them a name of a vision you can call it a dream you can call it a desire but passion is developed passion is developed and i say one of the entry points to passion is information you never have passion for what you've not had or seen you must hear you must see for it to find room in your spirit or in your heart rather and become a seed. Once it has found room in your heart, then it becomes a desire, a longing. It becomes something you would want to identify with. And then you look for kuni, you look for fuel and begin to ignite passion. And when passion is ready, the potential will be realized. And let me tell you something. Anything you can imagine, anything you can dream of, anything you can play as a movie in your heart can be realized in your life. But it has to be realized through passion. And we say passion is a burning within that can never be quenched otherwise. It's a burning, it's a sensation, it is a drive, it is an activity, it is a volcano in your spirit that is looking for a platform of expression. And you must pray. And remember, passion, I am fast again. Passion must be developed. You must work on it. You must choose to develop it. In other words, how do you do that? Choose what you hear. Because the things you hear can either propel you or slow you down. That's why the Bible talks about the importance of managing the gates to your heart. You must manage what you see because that's the gate of information. You must manage what you hear because that's the gate of information. You must manage what you smell. Some of you need to ask God to take away your sense of smelling. Because sometimes the environment can be choked with a negative smell while there are opportunities around the same environment. Are you with me? You must manage what you hear. Because listen, ladies and gentlemen, stay around negativity long enough and you begin unconsciously to succumb to it. You must build potential. You must develop potential. A man with, I mean, not potential, passion. A man with potential without passion is frustrated by everybody's success. Let, let, let me drop it to your level. How do you know your potential is dormant and your passion is lacking? You see people's success that almost indicates through the gate of your sight that this could be your level. And every time you see somebody's success, it frustrates you. It makes you sick. You begin to wonder what is wrong with me. You begin to think you are under a curse. Or somebody might have taken advantage of you. It is your potential crying for expression. But it cannot. It will remain until you develop the leper pains. You need to induce your... Doctor, you know what I'm talking about? You need to induce your potential by injecting something that will trigger passion. Passion makes you restless in the wrong place. Passion takes away your sleep in a rented house. Passion refuses to allow you to eat in the wrong place. Passion takes away your pride and gives you the desire for something. Listen to me, friends. Anybody you admire is what they are, courtesy of passion. 
most of us have more potential than the people we admire. The only difference is that they have given it passion. Success is a student of passion. Success is a product of passion. Success is the product of passion. Success is the fruit of passion. Between where you are and where you are dreaming, you must work on your passion. Read about success until you eliminate failure. Read about long life until you eliminate death. Read about expansion until you eliminate your village. You should read about nations. You should study about flying. A young man came to me today and said, I want to buy a flight, I mean a ticket for my mama as a Christmas gift. That is passion. You are thinking of flying your mother when you don't have enough money. You must reveal your mind. Transform your mind. That's why I want to recommend something. During this Christmas, take a different direction from your village. Travel somewhere away from your village. Don't be a champion in your village. In your village, we have enough mukasas. There is enough numbakumi. Think of something different. Those who are not saying amen, I know you have already sent money to buy chicken in the neighborhood. Think well. Fill your mind on what is right. The Bible says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, whether you went to school or not, there is one opportunity by God's grace that all of us can still renew our mind, the word of God. Whether you learn physics or not, whether you acquire chemistry or not, there is something that informs the direction of a human heart, the word of God. It has the power to transform your mind and change your heart and build your passion. Amen. Say amen. Amen. There is passion for long life. Yes. Passion for long life. I told you yesterday. Is like what we call. The white cells of your faith. Yes. When you have passion. It serves like the white cells. Of your faith. You know what white cells are? They are the cells that fight. fight disease and sicknesses. And infection. And keeps your body protected. From external intrusion. When you have passion, it can rebel any infection. And I guarantee you, a man of passion is a man of mission. You can rise up. I say you can rise up. Passion for long life. Read about long life. Passion for success. Read about men who succeeded. Stop reading and passing on clips of failure and misfortunes. Amen. Amen. Passion. Yes. Would you help me transfer some passion to your neighbor? If they are not saying a better amen, shout at them. Shout at them. Push them. Somebody help me push this man. Push this other one. Tell them passion. passion. Yes. You see the way I'm preaching? It's not much of the anointing, it's passion. I'm saying what you can say, but the difference is I'm saying with passion. I'm talking like I want to fight you. Passion. 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 I was told my child is not good in school. Passion said he must. And I call him successful. Until he became one. Passion. Passion. We are not chicken. We are eagles. We fly high. We are not failures. We can do all things. I say all things. Our hands are blessed. We are covenanted in God. We have the mind of Christ. Our feet are not just for walking. The Bible says where we step, we possess. Our hands are anointed. We have the brains of grace. Passion. Passion. Passion gives power to potential. It's the horse power of your potential. Yes. Those of you who have driven machines, you know what I mean by horsepower. Yes. You get to a level where you relax and the machine does the job. It's called the power of passion. You get to some place where turbo comes in and say, let me handle 
this thing. And you see small boys flying behind. Passion. Why are you feeling jealous? You have your own passion. Use it. Use it. Use it. I said yesterday, passion eliminates age. Passion doesn't say until you are 50 to succeed. Passion can accelerate you at a very tender age. That's why the death of Christ, everything, not, not actually the death of Christ, and I'm glad the, the theologian, the, uh, the Baptist is here today. He wants to baptize us before we go for Christmas. But, but listen, when you study the scripture, every event of Christ, every major decision of his transition is considered as passion. That's why we call his death the passion of the Christ. Those of you who have watched the movie on his death, his crucifixion, arrest, it's called the passion. You know what passion says? I am willing to sell all for all. That's passion. Passion says, I will sell all for all. Passion says, I no longer want to be represented by me. I want to be represented by my potential. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why people can still design how you behave and relate is because you are still you. You need to bring out your potential. Let, let me give you a very good example. Before the president became the president or the governor became the governor, he was a commoner. I remember, a I mean, he was a commoner. I know, you know, he was a commoner. The day he began, people call him Kotimoja. You know what I'm talking about? Kotimoja. It was a ridicule. But he turned it around and used it to say, Governor Waraya. And he went around and went around. Potential. He, he tried three times to be an MP. He couldn't. And he began a narrative and he said, maybe I'm looking for something less than what God wants me to have. You've never been an MC. He has never been an MC. Eh? He has never been an MP. Not even nominated. He has never been to government. But something out of a narrative trick at the potential in him and the, the normal structure is you become at least a represent a campaigner and then you become an MCA and then you become a campaigner and then you become an MP and then you become an MP again and then somehow you become a governor but the man says I've never been anybody's agent I've never been an MCA they call me Kotimoja who will elect me nobody knows me I've never been in politics but he created a narrative and said, maybe God wants me to do something, go for something better. And the man became a governor. Amen. Whether you voted for him, but he's a governor. Amen. He's too short for a governor, but he's a governor. Amen. Doesn't have the expression of a governor, but he is a governor. And right now, while you did not vote for him, you can't see him right now without an appointment. It's called the power of potential, where Rikichi becomes... An MP for the first time and become a deputy president. What are you talking about? You are come, you, you, there is something called passion. Passion eliminates time. Now, Colossians says, chapter 3, verses 23. It says, chapter 3, verses 23. It says, whatever you do, whatever your task may be, work from the soul that is put in your very best effort. As something done for the Lord and not for men. Give me another version. Another version say, knowing with our whatever you do, is that another version? Really, work from the heart for your real master God. Now, the emphasis I want that scripture is too rich for one hour, but this is the issue. Whatever your hands finds to do, listen. All of us can succeed in everything, but there is something about you that if you do, you will succeed. And I want to recommend to you, you can't succeed where I succeed necessarily. Because even if you did what I am doing, if I left you this lunch hour today, if I gave you everything I have, you will never sustain them, you will never enjoy them, until you build the passion to the capacity of my intensity. So it is not about position, it's about passion. The power of passion is that when you lose position, passion creates another one. When you lose favor, passion creates another one. When you lose friends, passions create another one. Passion becomes your certificate. You can succeed in Kenya, you can succeed in South Arabia. I saw a clip the other day of a house girl who went to some country, Lebanon, and became so passionate about what she's doing while everybody else is complaining about what those guys are doing she was living and the children will not let her go yes. passion and the last time i heard there was some 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 of this uh what do you call this case 
that some tourist company who wanted to pay her for a holiday in Masai Mara for seven days for passion. Yabu nisaidi ya mwambiji rani yako ukuwe na passion mzuri. Mwambia nikikuja kukuomba pesa kikisha ukuna pesa. Ukiwa na jirani yako asemi kitu ako broke mba sana. Anaomba Christmas ipite. Passion. Listen friends. Passion is ignited by knowledge. When you know the value of something. It triggers passion. Yeah. That's why I want to recommend to you. Be a reader. Yeah. Be an acquirer of information. Yeah. Come to lunch hour. Yeah. Read your Bible. Yeah. Listen to the right information. Yeah. Stop reading novels that are from imaginations. Yeah. Read facts and real reality. Yeah. Study the right thing. Move, watch the right documentaries. Yeah. Stop watching about Idi Amin. Although he was passionate enough. Actually, I would recommend you watch him. For those who have no passion. A man who will eat a human flesh. A man who will go to pretend and tell the queen. I am the conqueror of the emperor of pretend. You know? Passion. Idi Amin wanted to repossess Kenya. Passion. 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 You are too chicken. You, you are too naive. You are too humble. You are pleasing people who are never pleased. You want to impress everybody. You, you want to spear the status quo. You, you want people to invite you for a party. Stop asking people to invite you for a party. Organize for one yourself. Yes. Talk to me. Yes. yes, when we began this ministry, we were three and a half. And we preach with passion. There is a brother we used to call him Brother Half. He was unpredictable. He doesn't come. He might come. And even when he comes, he might not stay throughout the service. So we call him Brother Half. But we preach. Our services began on Wednesday from 6 to 8. We began in somebody's boutique. And we preach with passion. I preach to three people like I'm preaching to you today. That's why when, whenever you are not in the lunch hour, I still preach. Because it is passion, not you. It is you who is losing. So, so, so listen, we preach when people see what we are seeing today, they think it's a product of what? No! Passion! Passion! Even the reason why you came. Do you know why you came? Not because you wanted to come. There is some, so much passion here that you want to come and hear my passion. May you receive that passion this morning. May you receive passion! It takes passion. It takes passion. L let, me, let me take you quickly through something. Passion is a strong desire to achieve a certain intended result. That's passion. It has to be a strong desire to achieve a certain intended result. Passion. 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 When we took our first loan to buy the church property, our value in the bank was that we could only get 500,000. That was our worth in the bank. And we declared in lunch when somebody stood and said, I can stand in. And we took a loan of 14 million when our ability was, was only five. We were given five years to pay 14 million. We paid in 10 months. Passion. They gave us another 10 million. I'm talking to you. Passion does not keep record of failure. Passion exhausts failure. Passion does it until failure looks for another customer. It's a strong desire to achieve a certain intended result. So the intention must be specific. You can't have passion for nothing. You can't have a random passion. I want to succeed on what? Passion is specific. It has to be. I remember this brother, we went together for a mission. And there is this girl who sang in Kericho. And there was this girl who sang with passion. And the brother said, I just saw my wife. The boy didn't wait to inquire whether she's engaged, married, or something. He, he announced, he said, I just saw my wife. Listen, he announced, I, with that passion, that's my wife. <laughs> I sympathize with boys now, say, there is no woman to marry. And girl saying, there is no man to marry. Listen, girl, when you love a man with passion, he becomes confused towards you. 
When you live in a state where it's like, hey, come on, unitaka kama unitaki sijui kama yale yale. Na sio sio manunua nini kwa nyumba. Listen, passion will give you a man. Yes. 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 I married this girl when I was a, 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 a watchman. Passion will make up <laughs> She was a manager of sales. She was a sales manager. She had a driver and a car. I, had, I didn't even have a room. But she's my wife today. Passion. Passion. Wacha kuniambia maisha ni ngumu. Weka passion. Msiaskia kitu ambaye inasemekana ati ni ngumu kuliko moto. Kuna kitu moto haiwezi kula. Moto inakula mpaka maji. That's passion. Passion ni moto. How much do you want it? How bad do you want it? How much are you willing to pay for it? Say my passion. passion. Come on, say passionately. Passion. No, say with passion. passion. Yes. There's, there's a Rwandan guy. He plays this thing. And I'm a nyimbo sa 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 nani Mohando. Have you seen this Rwandan guy who plays this go keyboard and sing Ross Mohando songs? He sings better than Mohando. Passion, and he's making so much money than the, the composer of the song. Passion, passion. That's why somebody can employ your beauty to sell his shop. Use your beauty to attract customers because he has passion when you have no passion. How do you explain that your employer doesn't show up in the shop, but you sell it? He makes the money and then give you something. I don't want to come. To, you listen, passion, passion. Passion. Some of you are very beautiful and you are positioned in a supermarket to sell doom. <laughs> That's how powerful passion is. Haven't you seen people selling things? A beautiful girl. And I was at that way amend and I'm a Passion. Passion. That's why I love ridiculous guys. Passion. They say a lot of stupid things, but we pay them to listen to their stupidity. Have, have you ever seen ridiculous guys? We pay them Churchill. We pay them for their stupidity. Things we can't say when we are sober. They say, and we pay them and laugh. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? My yako I lose. But if you want to say, Niulize jirani yako nikulipe nikulipe nini ni nini unaweza naweza kukulipa ufanye how cheeky how furai how pendi mtu you are not committed you are not alive how do we pay you what do we call you be passionate with all due respect i respect our girls on the street we normally have an early service here early service here on on, on sunday we have the, our first service is here on sunday Listen, when, when I'm driving from my office to come here, apo, 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 you know, six in the morning, and our girls are standing on the street, and the other day, one of them was like, sk, sk, sk. And, I'm, and I'm in my car, passion, pastor is going to the service. <laughs> hey, listen, if, if a man can pay for a prostitute, how do you dare say there is no man who can love? You are not passionate enough. Yeah, ask Sister Delila. You can make Samson give secrets. Passion. That's why I don't believe in any woman who is broke. You are lazy and careless and stupid. And the that way are many. Passion. That's why I don't like serious women. Because God gave you beauty as a strength. Seriousness is not an attribute of a woman. It's a weakness. You look serious. Do you want to look like me? Look at you. Who will love a face like this? Would you want to marry a man like this? No! Leave alone a man, a woman who looks like this. Hey! Passion! 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 We shall have passion. Mutu anakuja hapa. Mukikuyu moja anakuja hapa. Ameenda kwa shamba ya wakale. Amengoa makwekwe. Moja ni hile ngombe gikula masiwa inakuwa kali. Anangoa moja. Anangoa hile inaitua, inaitua nini hile chaks, hile back chaks. Analeta hapo. Anangoa kitu ngini. Anakuja kupanga yote sita. Alapo anasa hapo, hii ni dawa ya. Hii ni dawa ya. Hii ni dawa ya. Mungu wa pariki wa kikuyu. Hii ni dawa. <laughs> Passion. 
passion. Passion. And within a moment, watu wamekusanya na hapa. Usha wai panda pasi ukakuta mtu anausa dawa ya 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 ya, ya, ya minyo. Passion. <laughs> Nata kusanya watu na jukue pesa ya rent. <laughs> Kuna jamaa na kanga hapa, na usanga dawa ya mende. Mungu alimpea sauti dawa ya mende. <laughs> Passion. Ama hako kwa hii lunch hour, mungu wa kubariki. Uye jamaa kwa lunch hour, nikupea lunch. I love the man, he can be a good preacher. Passion. Listen girls, you can passionately smile. When I go to a restaurant, I am very careful. Niki pata restaurant, niki pata mstiana kwa serious na muambia, unitia mungine. I want somebody who is very enthusiastic and passionate about their work. So niki kuta mstiana amenuna na muambia, unitia mungine, sija kuja kukula asira, ni pesa yana. Ni mekuletea mushara. Halamu na, sema? Nisisi semi, unisalamie. I am your boss. Passion. Yeah. Passion. Passion is the drive of any meaningful result. Passion is the drive of any mean, meaningful result. If you want a meaningful result, passion is the drive. Matthew chapter 6, 21. Write this down. In the, I mean from the dictionary, passion is a strong and and controllable emotional drive did you hear what i said that's why listen friends they say love gets to a place of passion before it acquires its intentions yeah that gentleman who said i just saw my wife we were there for a crusade. We were there with Apostle Moy for a crusade. And you know what? He came back with a wife. He approached the girl after the crusade and went to her home before we left Kericho. Sneaked from, you know, when we were planning people to do house to house. He insisted that he wanted the house to house team that was going that direction. So he made sure he did house to house. By the time we were coming, he had organized with the girl when his parents will visit. And they are married today. Amen. The girl looks exactly like you. Exactly like you. Photocopy you. Good. I love when you are Passion. Passion. Passion is a strong uncontrollable emotion you can't control it when passion takes over you can't control it you must cooperate with it passion passion when i wanted to marry mamin when we were related with my wife she she stayed in jephtiriat with her sister her elder sister you know and i was a watchman at bishop lecavo's church and i would come at night thank god for intercessors those who pray at night close that thing for me brother and and, and i would wait for those brothers we used to have something called uh they used to be captains who, who pray overnight so thank God for them. So they would come by, 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 by nine. They are already in the church and they will pray up to around five. And then um, the, the early morning people will come. And I was the watchman. So I would sleep a lot or pray with them. So I will wait for them when they get to, 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 to the church and begin praying. I, I, I would come to the stage and take a camber bus. And a light in Jephthah and we talk up to around four. And the sister, they had only one bedroom, so they would sleep on this other side. So we talked up to around four, and then I jumped to the road again and get another camber pass from Nairobi, and I lied in the church, and people think I was watching. No. <laughs> Passion. Passion. That's why if you have a man who says they love you, but they have never gone to your parents, in the name of, I don't have money to pay dowry. That's not a man. A man with passion will sell his kidney to pay dowry. <laughs> Um, a good man will steal to pay dowry. The Bible says a man should love his wife like Christ loved the church. How did Christ did? Gave his life. Yeah. Gave his life. If you've not paid dowry, go home and pay. You don't have a wife. You have a hireling. And you can't make good children with the wrong woman. You need the blessings of your parents. Jesus died for us. He's a man. Yeah. 
Thank you, Mama. I know the men are now like, what is your time? You, 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 you can go. You can go. Thieves. Hata ukiwa serious, wewe ni mwanaume wewe. Meiba msichana wenyewe na umeshinda umesaa wasichana kwa nyumba. Passion is a strong feeling. It is an enthusiasm. It is an excitement about something. I love that part. It's an excitement about something. It is a strong feeling. It is an enthusiasm. It is an excitement about something. It is loving something in a manner that you can't substitute. Yes. Passion. Passion is a strong liking. It's a desire. It is a devotion. It is an attraction. It's giving something attention. Passion. Passion. Me become a pastor. I am so passionate about preaching that anything I buy in my life must be aligned to my calling. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. What I eat must agree with my calling. When I go to a supermarket, I listen. I am so passionate about ministry to an extent. You the supermarket. Na shanga. Kwanini kanisa yote wamechasa vitu. Watoi vitu tuweke kanisa. I look at everything from the eyes of my passion. Mimi nikienda supermarket siangalie yangi manguo na angalie hiyo space. Shanga kama hii ungetoa hii vitu. Kanisa tungeweka hapa. You know? Mimi nikiona ile marori marori inabeba vitu hapa. It doesn't move me. I'm like hiyo lori tungetumia ikuwe ya kuweka crusade. Nikiona gari nzuri it's like wow. Hii ni ya kanisa. Nikiona bus, nikiona watu barabarani it's like this one will be good for the church. I look at everything from my passion. It's a strong liking. It's a strong desire. It is something that arms your devotion. You are sold to it. Anything you can be discouraged from is not your passion. If I can discourage you out of it, it's not your passion. Passion has no option. Passion cannot be quenched. Passion cannot be stopped. Passion cannot be discouraged. Preachers who are passionate survive changes. Passion informs the willingness to survive the pain or to pay. Survive the pain and pay whatever cost to realize a certain desired result. Passion informs the willingness to survive the pain and pay any price to realize a certain desired result. Passion is tested by the price you're willing to pay. Passion is tested by the price you're willing to pay. Listen, friend, everything great has enemies. But passion says, I will survive. I will survive ridicule. I will survive names. I will survive what everybody says. Passion. Passion. Ladies and gentlemen, passion is, a, is tested against three things. How do you test passion? Three things. You test passion against opposition. You know how passionate you are based on the opposition you are willing to start. If you read the book of Hebrews chapter 11, all those men of faith are men of passion. Men of passion. It is tested against opposition. How much opposition are you willing to withstand? Number two, passion is tested against failure. Men of passion can fail a thousand times. They will wake up again and do the same thing with the same intensity of passion. You never bury a man of passion. If you bury them, they become a seed and resurrect again. Passionate people will close it and open it and close it and open it. They will take a loan and lose it and take another one. Men of passion don't even care when the rates of the loan has gone high. They will go to the bank. Men of passion will wake up. Men of passion don't need an alarm. Passion is their alarm. Men of passion don't need encouragement. Passion is their encouragement. Men of passion don't need love. 
Passion is their love. Men of passion don't need a manager. Passion is their manager. Men of passion don't need a motivator. Passion is their motivation. You tested against failure. How many times you have failed and rose again? Passion. Number three is what we just said. It's tested against the price you're willing to pay. And the price is diverse. Sometimes the price is, is in money. You pay money. Sometimes the price is sacrifices. Sometimes the price is ridicule. Sometimes the price is loneliness. Sometimes the price is abuses. Sometimes the price is betrayal. Yeah. And ultimately the price is your life. It's called the ultimate price. Great man. A man of passion. Passion is being sold out to a cause without an alternative. Amen. Let me stop there for today. Passion is being sold out to a cause without an alternative. You know what passion is? That which has no alternative. A woman in the Bible, loved by a husband, had no children, and they were expected to go to the temple and sacrifice. And the Bible says anytime they would go, and she had a co-wife. You know the name of the girl? Yes. yes. What was her name? Anna. And she had a co-wife who had children. She was the first wife, but the, I mean, but, but the second one had more children. And uh, it happened that they would go to the temple to sacrifice. And the husband would sacrifice double for Hannah based on love. But Hannah said, according to the script, a woman would bring forth a messiah. You know it was such in the scriptures that God did not say which woman will be the mother of the Messiah. So every woman expected any time they get pregnant that probably I might be carrying the Messiah. So it was a pleasure to any woman to get pregnant. That's why women considered barrenness as a curse. So Hannah was like, it's a privilege for me to, to be a mother of supposedly the Messiah. And so she was barren and had no child. And the husband tried to substitute a passion, potential, a feminine attribute with, the love, with his love. And the man kept saying, hey girl, why are you crying? Why are you praying? Why are you fasting? Am I not better than 10 sons? And the girl said, listen, there is no substitute for this one. I want to be the mother. I don't want just to be a wife. And the Bible says she will not be comforted. She will not accept love. She will not substitute a passion to be a mother with double sacrifice. Passion is a desire that doesn't take alternatives. If I can buy you out of it, it was not your passion. If there is an option to it, it's not passion. If I can discourage you out of it, it is not passion. If you can sell it, then it's not passion. If you can substitute it, then it's not passion. Passion. That's why the Bible says, I said yesterday, Jesus gave himself to death. Lest they say they are the one who killed him. You know, there is something about Christ. They thought they killed him, but he said, nobody can take my life. I lay down. Because one of the unfortunate things that would have happened, if, if the man who crucified Jesus would have succeeded to kill him. But Jesus said, you are not killing me. I lay down my life. Because if you succeed to kill me, then it will be your effort. That's why Jesus always went ahead of them. When they tried to arrest him before time, he sneaked in between. He did not succumb to death. He laid down his life. Even when he was crucified, they say when, when they crucified men, they would come and break their legs to confirm their death. And the Bible says before they would come, because the scripture said they would not break any of his bones. And the Bible says before they came to break his legs, they realized he had already given out his spirit. Why? Passion made him pay the ultimate price. Listen, never allow anybody to push you in. Get in. 
Can I recommend something to you? Yes. When you are willing to fail, then you have eliminated failure. Yes. People who are afraid of failing, fail. People who are willing to fail, never fail. The strength of failure is in your fear of failure. Get your offerings, let me bless you. Hallelujah! Passion! Wacha kusema passion vibaya. Sema kitu ingine. Kama unta kusema passion, sema na passion. You can't say passion. No. Say passion. passion. I can't hear you say passion. passion. Yes. Unachasa hewa kwa mdoa. Passion. Passion. Listen. You must desire those things. You remember Jacob, he told the angel, I'm not letting you go. Utanibariki ama utapatika na hapa. Passion. You must want it bad enough that you are willing to die for it. Listen, you must want it enough that you are willing to break some relationship. I'm telling you something. You must want bad enough that you are willing to lose what would otherwise be your position. I, I read the story. I mean, I listened to the story of, of Wangare. Wangare, Wangare. Ishi Wangare, not ma Wangare. Wairimo. Wairimo Nelson. Wairimo Nelson was married to a white man. The man who is married to Wairimo Nelson is, is the cousin brother to Mr. Green, Testimony. That's why Testimony Homes here and Testimony Homes Kitale is one and the same. So Mr. Green was married to Wairimo. And Mr. Green is married to this other one. And when the passion was there and she had the call of God, the white man said, you can't embarrass me. My wife cannot be shouting on the street. No, I am a white man. I am dignified. I am a Preton. I'm a Brahmi. I, I, I don't allow my wife to... And passion decided between things. No, you stay home. Yeah, passion. Passion says, I'm going to fast for three days. And then I'm going to approach the king against protocol. If I die, I die. Passion. Passion has no exit strategy. Passion has no option. Passion has no alternative. Passion, passion. Passion. Can I give you a recommendation? Look for passionate friends. Stop entertaining these friends when you want to put your moyo kwashida. Don't make a prayer company of failures. You need somebody who tells you, stop it. You are stupid. Stop mourning. Stop crying. Clean your face and rise up. You need somebody who doesn't carry you. Somebody who tells you, carry your mat. You need somebody who tells you, one, two, three. Watch your clear. Osha uso. Tafta lipstick. Weka. Twende kasi. Passion. You have to pay a Christmas gift. You have to pay a Christmas gift. Your gift is to Nini. Passion. Your gift is to Nini. Passion. Your gift is to Nini. Passion. Passion. This week, the Siku is back to Christmas. Passion is to pay a Christmas gift. Passion. 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 Ikusababisha upate simu maadi Passion said Lazarus is sick Lazarus is asleep We are going to wake him up He comes three, four days dead They say he's now stinking Let's wait for the last day He said passion does not count days So question have you ever failed? No Passion says I never failed They said the man who made this thing Try it how many times 900 and something. Passion is like Duracell. You know Duracell. Never say, die. Ukiwachwa wachika alafu upatikana tena. Pana tafuta makambi yunona ku. Hey, maisha yangu imefika musho. Musho wapi? Musho ni kiblombe. Na waonya. Nisi wapate. Na maomboleso. Na kama uko na uye uchinga, usikuja kuniambia. Kuja uniambia ideas. Kuja uniambia nda nasikia kuhuwa mtu. Unahuwa aje. Chukua sadaka yako. Mungu wa amani ya wabariki. Mungu wa wapanue mipaka. Mungu wa wape furaha. Mungu wa wape ushuda. Mungu wa wape sababu. Mungu wa wafanye vieleleso. 
Mungu awafanye vichwa. And because my God is faithful, may his faithfulness come to your account. And with our giving today, Lord, we acknowledge your faithfulness. We acknowledge your blessings. We acknowledge the journey. In spite of our challenges, there is something we are grateful about, Lord. We are still here. We still have a reason to wait and count on you. Because there is hope for the living. We embrace the grace for the journey. Bless our giving today. Bless those who are bringing their thanksgiving. We have already expressed our desire to honor the police force. I pray for everyone that participates on that account. May the God of all protection reward you. May what you honor never disappoint you. May what you celebrate come your way. As a voice of grace, as a father, as a priest, as a prophet in this house. From this city altar, I bless you. In Jesus' name.